I farm grapes and this is grape pumice compost. It comes from a winery that, it, that I do business with. I take care of all their pumice problems and in return I get the material for my own grape vineyards. And the uh, grape vines are looking exactly for this stuff. They spend their existence going through the soil, finding nutrients and minerals and things like that in order to make their leaves and canes and fruit. And this is a winery, so we squeeze those grapes, we squeeze the water and some sugar out of that, that material and throw the rest away. And that vine, it took a long time to find all those things. When you put that material back into the vineyard, the grapevines like it. They're looking for that, and you give it to them, they give you more grapes in return. So that's been my secret. So I built this machine, this compost turner, because I had this tractor. It's a 70 horse, two wheel drive tractor. And as you can see, it's portable. It's just built on a three point hitch, built so it adapts to the three point hitch of the tractor. Uh, it's a category two three point hitch, and I think it weighs around 2,200 pounds, which is a comfortable load for the tractor to pick up and move around. So that's the back end of the machine there, and it's built around a differential out of a middleweight truck, a class two truck. It's a 20,000 pound uh, rear axle, and what I did was cut one side of the axle off and then carefully aligned it up in the same plane as the uh, pinion shaft of the axle and re-welded it to use it as a pivot point in the rear. The uh, agitator drum rotates off of the, the axle that wasn't cut off. It's lifted up or down by that uh, hydraulic cylinder. The agitator itself is built out of a 16 inch well drilling case or gas pipe. It's 3 16 thick. I built a spiral into the um, the agitator tines to keep the pile centered and I found I had the spiral going all the way out to the end of the agitator and I found that much spiral actually screwed the tractor out of the pile. It was too much side load for the weight of the tractor and um, instead of it moving the pile to the center it moved the tractor out of the pile so I cut off about a half of the agitator blades out at the end and changed them to take that part of the spiral. That's the blade that I put on the tractor, mainly to have something to be able to manipulate the pile as I'm turning it. That's the machine working in the pile, and you can see it lifts up the material. The, the agitators are right down at ground level. In fact, with the hydraulics, you can lower it enough to actually hit the ground, and you can feel it digging into the ground it makes a different kind of vibration and I keep it right up off the ground that's and but use the ground as a as a indicator by going down getting that vibration and then lifting it up high enough so it just stops and that's a windrow of the same compost there's two windrows there they're approximately 12 feet wide and about 120 feet long and hold about 120 yards, maybe 140 yards of compost in each windrow. The windrows are about 8 feet apart, which is plenty of distance to uh, get the machine in. That's really only about 6.5 or 7 feet of machine. And that's another reason this machine works good and works good in this situation is it lets us pack a lot of rows into a relatively tight space. The compost turner runs in a straight line. So after they're, they're dumped in a row, then I come in with the turner. And by turning it, it, it blends the, the piles of both stems and the pumice from the press into one mix that uh, 
it breaks down easier and it also is applied easier on the ground through a spreader. Once it breaks down, it goes through a heating process for approximately a month. What that process does is kill any pathogens that are in the pump, unless there's certain insects that are uh, of concern with grapes. The piles go up to 160 degrees and will maintain 130 degrees for about two or three weeks actually with turning. I don't think there's too much more to it. This machine works good. I think anybody who's got high school shop skills can uh, can and a junkyard to uh, at their disposal can build one. Wasn't that hard? <laughs>